Hey everybody, welcome back to Investment Honey, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel. And I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we are looking at Invorium, which is a scalable blockchain. Uh, they do have a white paper. We're going to go ahead and um, mention, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that real quick. You know, so we can see that we got 12 pages here in the white paper. So obviously, we go ahead and we preview white papers when we got them on the channel. So we can see utility here, uh, the blockchain uh, with the Envorium uh, Blockchain Explorer, the wallets, uh, the DEX, uh, the swap here, staking, crossing bridge, and the lock. Okay, so then we transition over to their tokenomics. So we can see they've got 200 million on the total supply, 9%, you know, uh, on the uh, buy. Uh, buy side and on the sell side, so in and out 9% uh, each side or each way, a 1% max transaction, 2% is going to be on the, the max wallet. Taking a look you know, at their roadmap, you know, so we can see uh, they've already got some things checked off, you know, which I love. You guys know that about me. And, um, you know, because I think that's just important stuff to go ahead and communicate. But we see three different phases here. Launch, you know, in Vorium, you know, on the BSC network, you know, uh, the launch of the website, white paper release, uh, community building and marketing, uh, the swap development, and the locker development account. And then in phase two, we see a holder account. You know, again, this is aspirational. You guys already know. Every project wants to grow in terms of their holder account, community members, and market cap. You know, so you don't need to indicate it on a roadmap. It just takes up space for no reason. Uh, the audit of the token and speaking you know of the audit it did pass with issues major severity issue unchecked array length is the verbiage um, medium severity issue using uh, X ext code size to check for externally owned accounts and another medium severity issue account existing to check for low level calls so those are the things the three things that were highlighted in the audit as far as issues you know in the smart contract all right, so we can see community contests, marketing via Twitter, crypto community, um, the stake development, wallet development, and bridge development, okay? And then in phase three, of course, again, don't need the hold account, don't need the market cap, you know, all this is aspirational. I mean, what happens if you don't get there? Then it's just stuff on the roadmap, it doesn't even matter. You know, it doesn't make any sense to go ahead and put there because it could change. Um, you might not meet it, you might meet it, but like I said, I think it's just taking up space on the roadmap, in my personal opinion. And then we can see uh, the info platform development, Community contest to marketing via Reddit, CMS, and then press release on Medium, and then more to come. So they are indicated here, you know, more to come, which could indicate like a V2 to the, to the roadmap. But if they're going to do a V2, I just kind of wish they'd be more intentional in stating so. All right, so we got their ecosystem here. You know, so again, here's everything that makes up the ecosystem the swap, the locker, staking, wallet, bridge, the NFTs, and the centralized exchange. Okay. So here, you know, we talk about their decks, you know, so the missions to bring crypto um, more accessible, you know, to the world or make, I think, should be our mission is to make crypto more accessible to the world with leading exchanges, you know, like the BS, like Binance, um, sorry, like Binance, KuCoin, etc. They're going to stand together with them to make crypto more known to the world and to encourage people to use crypto as a method of payment investment and more so join the community okay and let's see here and then this is basically the end so which they don't really need this all right so they do have a chart you know on this project so you can see this is the current market cap looking at uh, just over thirty thousand. you know so still you know very very early on this one you know so i'm on the one hour you know so this uh, this actually went live on the 25th of october so i mean just about six days ago okay and you can see, you know, with their all-time, actually, this is the all-time high right here, barely, okay, but you can see some healthy, you know, um, you know, upswings and then some selling off and, you know, uh, the chart looks very, very healthy, you know, a lot of activity, uh, still some activity even today, as you can see, indicated by the buys and sells here in the summary, you know, of transactions, okay, so um, we're going to go over to the main page and we can see here, White paper button, some links up here in the navigation bar, some information here, scalable blockchain and ecosystem with the lowest fee and fastest transaction aiming to be the most secure and reliable decentralized finance platform. And then here, just a uh, button here that's actually linked you know, to the main page. So, all right, so the test net's live. So we can see some information here in regards to the test net. And um, here, just a button to go ahead and go to the platform. And then you can buy uh, the token, you know, here on Pancake, you know, so... They give you some popular crypto prices, you know, but they're only indicating um, Bitcoin right now. So we've already talked about the roadmap, you know, but again, you see here, oops, sorry guys, that they have checked some things off, you know, so in terms of just additional feedback here, 
if I need to indicate time timelines, I mean, I mentioned, mentioned this on so many different projects, and with it, as many projects as we've covered over the, over the you know over the last nine months, you know, a thousand plus projects. You know, it just really puts this channel in a position to be able to talk about this stuff that, look, you got to have timelines, okay? Uh, a lot of projects don't do it, but it's helpful to have them, you know, so so that people looking at the project know when you're completing the things that you say you're going to complete. And it's just not, you know, some endless time frame as to, you know, well, we don't know when they're going to go and complete, you know, the staking development, the bridge development, you know, but if you are kind of also keeping yourself accountable and indicating that, you know, hey, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this, you know, and let's say, you know, it's phase two, but uh, we're looking at uh, it's going to be done before, you know, uh, January 2023, then at least, you know, people looking at the project know that, you know, hey, okay, they probably got, they got a couple more months, you know, in this, but no timelines, then it's just very, very, you know, um, arbitrary as to, you know, when something can go ahead and be completed. And I think that you got to have timelines, you know, in my personal opinion. So, all right. And uh, so what's what's in process? You know, what's pending on going, you know, um, and here on the more to come, you know, obviously they've indicated there's going to be more to come. But is this going to be a V2 on the roadmap? We don't know that, but that would be good information to have. All right. And then we can see the tokenomics here. So total supply and then we get the tax. All right. And then we get here here. Uh, sh something build is uh, something big is being built here. OK, so. Swap, locker, teaser, okay, teaser app, teaser here, you know, so this is just, again, all associated, you know, with their ecosystem, so I do like, uh, I like this graphic here. Let me meet the team, you know, so these are not clickable, you know, it just gives you, you know, just faces, you know, so, and they're not real faces, you know, so uh, be aware of that. I have not um, been able to go ahead and, um, well, actually, I can't say that I haven't been able to go ahead and see any KYC on this because they do have a certificate of KYC. I will go ahead and I'll leave you the link to that. But again, they're not, this is basically what I'm saying is they're not photo docs, okay? So um, let me see here. But they do have their KYC. And um, like I said, you know, we've already gone ahead and talked about the audit, so I'll leave you a link to that. Um, but we don't get any token distribution information, you know, on the main website, which is kind of odd, but, but yeah, but I will highlight that as a concern, you know, in the, uh, information you know, in the description below. So thank you so much for watching as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing because a lot of these videos, not this one in particular time sensitive, you know, but again, you're not going to know about the updates to the channel if you don't subscribe and turn on the notifications. So, um, then we also have our community tab now, you know, so I've got a couple of questions there and regards to um, short content, you know, um, and uh, or at least what your thoughts are in regards to shorts content and news content. So if you are interested, you know, in seeing some of that, please engage, you know, with the community tab and let me know what your thoughts are there, you know, so that, and we're going to let this run, you know, for about a week, you know, before I go ahead and make a decision on that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, you all enjoy the day.